Hey, you need to see you next time. Pause and girls, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Link to the Past. This is the part, <laughs> the second attempt at part one of the Domino's Cavern. Yeah, it's part one of the Domino's Cavern. Yeah, let's do this dungeon in two parts, we have. Yeah. First, before I forget, <laughs> um, featured channel of the day goes to the King Nappy. He's currently uh, showing um, Pokemon Black and White with, um, actually, he's split screen Pokemon Black and White with um, Color of Death, aka Christian. And he's also LP. Actually, he's more streaming it than LPing it, but. He's streaming, uh, streaming Alpine, um, um, Pokemon Team Rocket Edition. It's a Pokemon ROM hack that you play as Jesse and James. Depends on the gender that you choose to be at the beginning of the game, or, I don't remember if you had to choose one. Uh, I don't know if the game just makes you play as James. But you play as Disney and James. And the three stars that you get to choose from is Meow, Ekans, and Poppy. Poppy. <laughs> um. He's. So I don't know if he recorded an episode of Black and White Kids I mean, uploaded a. I don't know if you did, but the uh, Pokemon Black FSS, yeah. Ah. I'm trying to make these guys blow up this wall. Come on, guys. I think they would be up there. Really? Guys? Come on. Okay, let you know there's a room behind this wall. Yeah, it's still possible, but let's try this again. Leave the room, go back in this room. Okay. Really? Come on. And once you blow up the attack one of them, it'll ignite and and after you kill those three guys, you can kill the special with you. You can kill special with number one in this dungeon. There's, I believe, five in this dungeon. But we only can really get one. Uh, there's one in this room that we can get till we were an adult. There's one. There's one in the room that has two that we cannot get till we get more items in the inventory. Or, or you can wait till you're an adult, adult, and get a hook shot. Wait, yeah, hook shot. Come back here as an adult and hook shot the full special and get it. This is the only dungeon as a kid that you can come back to as an adult. There's a few glitches that you can enter the Great Deku Tree and the next dungeon that we're about to enter after this one as an adult, but it's a glitch. <laughs> Yeah. 
And I don't know if the glitch works on the N64 version. Okay, three jump strikes to kill those things. On the first attempt, I did actually four jump strikes because we already did two on the. First round. And in here is a Deku Stick seller. If you want to buy some Deku Sticks, you can. Um, but we should be good. Here's the Dongos. They die in like a couple of jump attacks. I think two or three should be good. Or you can throw bombs in their mouth, and I think they blow up that way too. Wait, we don't even have bombs. I'm doing this two part. Uh, yeah, I need a second speed curator. Out here is a thing. <laughs> that guy gives a better while, I guess. Um, what else to talk about, Mappy? Um, well, I'm gonna link his channel in the description. And like you guys can check it out yourself. He does rat videos, he does um other cool stuff. Um he does Pokemon rats too. And after you kill the Darnel Knight, the room will open up. And we get the compass of this dungeon. I always forget that item in this dungeon every time I do. Um. And once all those blocks, bombs blow up. Eight minutes already. There's two gold scotchlas in this room. We only can get one of the two at this at the moment. But we'll be coming back here to get the other two gold scotchlas at another time. But because we can't get them with our current equipment and current timeline. There's a wand that we can get in this timeline. You can see the other one in that little hole if you can see through the webbing. And we're at 9.35 minutes mark. And in this room we have Fire key, the most annoying piece of the world. You have ice key, which can freeze you if you're not careful. 
I've been around Nappy and Christian too long, I'm starting to talk like that. <laughs> mm. I'm kind of here and press the switch. Door open. Door down. Open the door. Walk around the bat if you want. This is where the video ended on its own last time. Pull this block out all the way if you need. Come on. Really? Ow! Really? Oh, there's a treasure box here if you want to pick it up. Is this rubies or a heart? Rubies. Hold the bomb for a couple of minutes, seconds. Alright. Ah! You're supposed to blow up on the wall. Bomb. Ah, Yahoo! Blow up on the frickin' wall! Why are you not blowing up on the frickin' wall? Ow! I threw you! Okay, that's how that goes that. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. Really, Link? Are you just trying to piss me off? Really? Come on, Link. You're not even trying. There you go. Do it, Tink. I mean, Link. This room. Get the eyeball. Hurry up. Thirteen minute mark. What do you guys do you want? Ow. Hey, that one didn't really hurt me. And round two with the Zoth boat. That one's dead. And that's 14 minute mark. And we already at the end of the dungeon. And we haven't gone to the dungeon item yet.
That one can be a little tricky. We have one in here. Hurry up, the high switch is open. After a couple of seconds, so be careful. And now we're at the other end of the room with the spike thing. You got the bomb bag. This bomb holding bag is made of the dongo stomachs. <laughs> you found 20 bombs inside. You can put bombs to the bees and blow things up, but then cool. And now we're back in the main hub room. And uh, you put the bombs. To enter where the boss is, you have to throw some more stuff up. You have to blow, blow those eyes up. Make them red. Whoa, don't turn me around. Here. And in this treasure box, I believe, is a couple more rubies. Five rubies. Not much. How many gold castles that we got in the next room? Two? <laughs> really? There's no safer way to get down to <laughs> And this is the final room of the dungeon. Rooms of the dungeon. And the only thing about the fire cases is if they touch you if you have your Deku shield, the Arkish shield. Her Deku shield will burn up. Be careful. Hey. Spiker, no spiky. Wait, this isn't Dora. Dora is an explorer. Um, it'd be easier using this block than the other one to get for the last spatula, full spatula that you can get. There's a fairy if you need it. Do we even? Wow. You didn't even need the block. What am I doing? I'll touch the number three that we can get and. In the future, we'll get the last two full tesselas we can get in this dungeon, but we can get them right now. Wow, um, well, I was thinking of doing this as a two part. Already at the 19 minute mark. <laughs> Uh, 
Push the block into that hole, it'll open the door. And blow up the center of this room. Grab the bomb and the treasure box. Yeah, the bomb. Watch the explosion and enter the boss room. Infernal Dinosaur King King of Donko. The answer for this boss fight is throwing the bomb in his mouth when he opens his mouth to create his fire breath attack. And once once he's done, attack him with your sword. And that's pretty simple for him. I think you have to do six or eight. I mean three or eight or four times. I think it's four times. Because that was number three and he did that. And that's it for the last fight. And, and wow, 22 minutes of 24 Whoa, his head was still moving. We get the last action here, I mean the action here for this dungeon, but will we be able to get the rubies, I mean Goron's ruby, or will we fail and not get it? Find out next time on the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Have a good day, bye now.